If you've been around CVG Airport any time in the past year, I'm sure you've noticed the changes. There are more flights, more local brands, and frankly, more travelers. The airport CEO is a big reason for that. It's been quite a journey for Candace McGraw, and she is with us this morning. It's always good to see you, Candace. Thanks oh, for coming in today. Thanks for having me. Congratulations. Candace was just named the first woman to chair a world board for air travel. That Congratulations. Yes, thank you. It's, it's quite an honor, and it's a real privilege. I'm enjoying it, right? It's for our trade association which represents 95 percent of all the airports in the world that's so wonderful it's and i want to talk an about that in a minute but first i just want to talk about what you've been able to do at our airport just of late we've been seeing more local restaurants more local vendors even the kenton county library tell me about the effort to to make cvg feel like cincinnati yeah no thank you for um noticing and paying attention to that right because it's been very intentional on our part right we are a community asset we represent all these communities in ohio northern kentucky indiana and we want people to feel at home when they come to the airport because it's either your first impression of our area or the last impression when you leave so we have so much great to offer in the region we want people to find it at the airport and it's easier to fly through our airport the prices are less than they were you know 10 15 20 years ago you have low-cost carriers in but one of the big things you were able to do last year was get british airways flying direct out of cvg what went into getting that to happen Oh, well, that was quite the undertaking, Sheila. <laughs> um, it probably it was about 10 years of concerted work on behalf of my team and myself, um, laying out the business case, doggedly pursuing them, et cetera. And so that is the only flight to London and all of Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. And that complements our nonstop service into Paris, which for many years was the only European service from our the three-state region as well. So it's been mildly successful yeah. and doing really well. Well, I remember when you took over because I've been doing news here a long time. The airport was not in great shape. It was no longer a Delta hub. Um, flight, we, it was very expensive, as I mentioned. We couldn't get as many flights to different places. Um, talk about how you sort of jumped into this role of bringing it to this point. We don't have time to go through the whole journey, but, but starting out, it must have been kind of intimidating. Well, you know, it, it was an interesting time. If you recall, I've been in my role, it'll be about 14 years. Um, as you said, right, we had lost a hub. And so we had to set up about diversifying our business, which meant bringing in new carriers. And you noted all the low cost carriers and the other carriers that we have. So we've been able to grow our passenger base from 3 million when we started to about 9 million now. So that That's was amazing. great over the last, you know, 10 plus years. And then we had DHL, which was a great uh, cargo carrier, but we also realized we had to diversify that, right? Mm. And so then we brought in Amazon. So we're DHL's number two operation in the world, Amazon's number one operation in the world. And so it was really about diversifying business and really figuring out how to make us sustainable for the future. And finally, I just wanted, what can the world learn from CVG with you at the helm of this trade organization? Well, I think what we do best at CVG is we're a, we're a team of collaborators. We work well together. We work well with our community partners. We work well with all the airlines, stakeholders, et cetera. And I do think that's a model where we shine at CVG. All right. Well, the search is underway for Candace McGraw's replacement. She's retiring next year, but we'll be watching all the accomplishments up until then and what you do next, Candace. Thank you. Well, thank you. It's so great to catch up with you always. Good we'll be right back. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.